sunshine and beautiful supercars. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. We're here at Protective Film Solutions where all of our cars get protected with either clear bra or the crazy liveries that we've been doing on Daily Driven Exotics since basically day one. Today's gonna be an exciting day. Today's gonna be a Lamborghini day. I used to say we were the number one Lamborghini ambassadors on the internet uh, and then we gave that title off to our boy James the Stradman, rightfully so for now. But we're coming back James, we're coming back. So we're in the market for some new cars. As you guys know, we sold a few cars. I sold a big car, my Carrera GT. I love that car. I need something to replace that car that makes me just as excited as that car used to make me, but maybe gets you guys as excited as the Carrera GT used to get me, but gets you guys excited too. You know what I'm saying. We have the SVJ. Now the SVJ is arguably one of your guys' favorite cars, along with obviously the 720 GTR, which is back on the channel. The Murcia Lago, I love, but I personally like it in a manual gearbox Dave's got the Z gear now we're in the market for some new cars there's something that happened to be parked right here that is near and dear to my heart when it comes to supercars and that is an OG black coupe 458 you guys I I'm so obsessed with this car still. This was the first supercar I bought after my Scuderia that was really like modern. If you don't know the lineage of daily driven exotic supercars, I had a Gallardo, it was nothing special, it was an 06, it was special to me because this was my first real supercar. It was like the, the newest car that I had ever had. So this was like the latest, greatest tech at the time. DCT transmission, naturally aspirated V8, and I got it in a very similar look to this, like just a clean black on black on black, and it was a 2010, except for my stitching was red, but this is basically like what my OG car looked like when it was stock. What's crazy is I probably haven't shared the story. My first time seeing a modern Ferrari was you and Victoria passing me. Anyway, it was you. I was like, what the f was that? And that was you. Crazy, crazy, right? Crazy car. We're in the market. Could we buy another 458? Well, I have a little surprise coming in another day. So in a couple of days, you'll see that video. But today, we're going to go look at one of my favorite Lamborghinis. It is the best greatest, baddest version of a Huracan. It is an STO. And what's even crazier is it's already twin turbo by Underground Racing. Makes crazy power. The GOATs. So we're gonna go and see that. We're gonna drive it. And maybe you guys should let me know, should we get an STO and twin turbo it? Since you know that the OG Tire Slayer is going back to a VF Engineering Supercharger, can't give up on, maybe we should have two Tire Slayers. Maybe. Maybe. Hey! hey! Welcome! Welcome to the club. All right, let's go see the boys. Hey Stan, why you keep making the tin darker? Oh. Oh. That's getting hey, worse. there's no way that's darker. I know it, it's no, it's darker. It's the same. You're full of Did he make the tint darker? Jason! Dude, look at the tint. It's darker. It was not dark that dark before. What's wrong with you? Why'd well, you make it darker? getting old. Was Logan oh, like that? Was oh. Logan? Seriously, is that bleach? Oh. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. No, what is this? No, seriously, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> this is like a <laughs> <light that's> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's a standoff right here. So what's the deal with this? Like, they don't make it anymore. Or it's just low supply chain. What is it? This is, by the way, this is my lack of a better word. Let's call it infamous. Fluorescent orange. Then it was satin, but then we laminate it. Mm -hmm. So it's gloss. They don't make it anymore, do they? It's being discontinued. It's hard to get. And it means the rules are really old. You playing hard too. to get on us? <laughs> well, I'm not, but the man. Well, he better be. He's freaking married now. Let's yeah, see the yeah. ring. Like Let's see the ring. That comes no. off. So <laughs> we're taking this and we're trying to make our own version of the infamous DDE fluorescent gloss neon orange, whatever you want to call it. And we got some boys here from a company you all well know, and we're gonna hand this over and be They'll like- They'll be on oh. camera too. <laughs> <laughs> big hug guy, he said that on, <laughs> off camera. He's like, you know what? When the camera comes on, Dave, just give me a big hug. Introduce yourselves real quick. So my name is Michael, I'm consultant of InnoSec. Greg, Greg, English, sales Greg. director at InnoSec. Let's make our version of the DDE fluorescent gloss super, it'll be called super gloss. See, I know how it'll this be, works. It'll be called called DD fluorescent or super DD super gloss fluorescent orange. It's a tongue twister. Shut you up! Don't be in the back. We have a, probably a few months before this is really a thing, but now you guys get to see like this we is. We gotta make it happen, right? Oh, this is, this is, this I like that. We're gonna make it happen and he pats you on the shoulder. <laughs> this is our homework. This homework. Is, yeah. all, all, in, it's in, all on you, Greg. In between SEMA and everything else, we'll get it done. Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. Likewise. Thank you so much. All right, guys, back in the cars. We're on our way to Bowdoin Auto House to go see our boy Josh, where the twin turbo underground racing STO awaits us. I'm excited for this. I miss my old car. Right there. Stop right there. Right there. 
perfect. That's a perfect place to stop and thank our sponsor, Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds look and feel even better thanks to optimized gel tips. That's right, that right there goes in your ear and it feels really good. Now what's really cool is this case not only holds your earbuds, but also charges them. But don't worry, this little bad boy here will last up to eight hours of playback in your ear. That's a lot of DD vlogs, podcasts, or your favorite song. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. Raycons are priced just right. You get the quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. These bad boys are sweat and water resistant, built to withstand the occasional left in pocket, went through the washing machine experience. Been there, done that. Guess what? You'll be good to go. Recon has your back. And not only are they comfortable, they will not budge. Trust me, they will not budge. They will not budge. They will not budge. <laughs> There. Okay, what's really cool is there's three sound profiles. My favorite is the bass booster. To activate it and to toggle between them, hold the left one for three seconds and I'll tell you, that's right, you're on the bass. I'm listening to myself talk to myself. Now, these are my Raycons. Get yours right now. Click link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash ed and save 15% off your order. Powered by Raycon, you guys. That's R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash D-D-E. Back to the vlog. <laughs> How much power? What, what what level of power is this UGR kit? Map four is 1650 to the wheel. That's it? Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> this is a really good parking job. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somewhat between the lines over here. Dave? Hey, look, man. Dave? I'm not sure that's a good parking job. That's okay. We'll give it to you. Okay? Chalk it up to mercy challenges. Are you nervous? He called me five times to drive to make sure we were still call, coming, dude. We're once. always gonna come. I literally didn't call you once. You called me five times. Uh, it's wrong, Josh. Yeah. Show me the car. That's the car. Or do you have anything else cool to show us? We got lots of stuff going on in here. This is cool. It's got an Enzo. 918. Damn. That is sick. Got some wheels on here. It's obviously lowered a little bit. And then TT kit. Yeah. So this is matte paint or is this a self wrap? Matte paint. That's sick. This is Wild. a factory, Wild. like I'd almost call it like satin vampire red. They didn't call you. How many times? They're five Dude, times. Dude, I can't even keep up. It's called five show, times. Show me, show me. Why do you want, like you're, you're trying to get a hold of us so bad. We're just trying to do your favor, you it. know? Prove it. I will. Yeah. When? You're calling my phone. No, you're now. calling me again. I know Josh is calling me again. Josh, 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 STO, underground racing, crazy kid. I'm nervous. Damn, look at this thing. Woo! That's what $350,000 looks like. 1,650 wheel horsepower on map four, right? Yeah. This is the real deal. As you can see, it's got new underground racing, all billet, intake manifold. It's the whole shebang, titanium exhaust. So should we buy one of these? Should we get an STO and twin turbo in? So we have an STO, plus we do the new tire slayer, Super Trofeo Evo race kit with the supercharger, and then we have the best of both worlds. Did you say this is, this is uh, all-wheel drive converted? Yes. It has a front diff in it, and yeah. it was real drive from the factory. Yeah. And you can turn the front diff off. You can turn it off. Yep. How about turn you off? No, seriously, this car Impossible. is crazy. Let's go ahead, put some heat in the engine, and get this thing out onto the street where it belongs. This car takes around 15 minutes to warm everything up. You gotta warm up the differentials, you gotta warm up the transmission, you also gotta obviously warm up the engine, but you gotta get everything at a certain tires. temp before it tires, before you go and hit it. Hey, we are in the STO UGR build. This thing is beautiful, like just from the factory. The STO is just on a whole nother level. Alcantara everywhere, the new carbon sport seats, and then all they have is just a little piece of the nylon for your door handle. Already makes me want to go out and get an STO and then twin turbo it. To drive this car, it's very, very specific. You need to put it into Trofeo mode. You need to then also turn traction control off. And then the car is actually gonna shift for you. It revs up so bloody fast that it's almost humanly impossible 
control to effectively shift at the right point before hitting the rev limiter in every single gear. And plus, you don't want to be looking down. This car is so quick, you want both hands on the wheel and you want to be looking at where you want to be pointing or aiming the car. This is a point and shoot type of car. Now, the other neat thing about this car is when you do this level of build, UGR is very smart. They go ahead and they equip the car with a fire suppression system. So right here where it says, fire. Josh has been begging me not to pull this, but I'm pretty sure I want to give this. Can we give it one pull? Just give it one pull. Come on, one pull. Yeah. One pull. Come on, one pull. We'll just do one pull. That's it. Who well, sounds good? Let's go warm it up on the street because we got a bit of driving to do about 15 minutes at least to warm everything up before we can hit it. All right, enough messing around. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, what the hell? It's so smooth. UGR SVJ was very violent, but that has a lot to do with obviously just the simplicity of a DCT versus a single clutch transmission. No joke. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm nervous. I'm ready. I'm, a, I'm ready to pull this if I have to. I was to. testing it. This is a fast car. This is a really fast car. Ready? No. <laughs> the minivan. Mark, <laughs> I told you to keep up with us. I love that about UGR's kits where it shifts for you. You don't have to worry about trying to shift manually. It's almost impossible. It shifts really nice too. Yeah. DCT, bro. Let's give UGR the props they deserve. They are the OGs. Yeah. They are the masters of this whole basically they created the game. Yeah. And uh, they've been around the longest. They have the most data and they build the best car. Now, they're also probably the most expensive, but you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. Now, this car's drivability on the way here is very smooth. What's crazy is this car was real drive from the factory. They made it all-wheel drive. They added a front differential. Because if this was power, you kind of need all four tires working for you. Absolute madness. We're going to do some more pulls. Oh, God. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Bike for a second. So it's boost by gear. So it gets faster. It got really quick once we got into like third, fourth, and fifth. That's fast. I had to pull the escape shoot on that one, man. I was like, that's enough. That's probably the quickest car I've been in. Watch this. Yeah, bro. Huh. Like, like third and fourth. Or just, you wouldn't even want to attempt to try to shift gears yourself. It has no. to shift for you. I got dust in my eye on that one. I already burnt like uh, a quarter tank in this yeah. drive so far today. Yeah. I'm not sure you see on the rollers when it shifts. There's a huge burst of unburnt fuel, like a mist in the air. It's crazy. Woo! I've never seen that before. This thing is really fast. Like really fast. You jar killed it with this one. I wonder what the quarter mile time would be on a car like this. Maybe obviously not. Dude, we can look it up. They, 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 this is the coolest thing about UGR. They hold all the records. Oh. All the records, as far as I know. Got tear in your eye from this thing. We should have one stupid fast Huracan for going to half mile events and so forth. Yes. To be the leaders and actually start doing some racing like that. comes alive and gets woo, crazy. Okay guys, I'm trying to 
express to you how crazy that car is. For passenger seat, you really don't get the full theatrics of the raw acceleration and the noise. So I'm gonna fill it the side of the minivan right here. I'll get down to play with this a little bit. You can't get the smell though. I wish you could have the smell because it's all race fuel. This is not a street car. Mother of. Does that translate? Rewind it and watch that clip again if it doesn't. <laughs> You see the back of that car? All those unburnt fuels. It's crazy. <laughs> so you can't smell it, but I can. I can taste it. It's in my eyes. It burns, but that's okay. VP 110 race fuel. But it's five hundred dollars to fill that tank. about the actual, just the STO itself is a cool car. The crazy body kit, it really resembles the race car. We wanted to get one, we actually had one for MSRP, then COVID happened and now they're all crazy and stupid money. But it's one of those things where it's like, you could build our own crazy Lamborghini race car or buy one from Lamborghini or have both. finally got the flames out of the STO. You just had to get it hot. The sun's going down, unfortunately, it's the fuel. So, let's get back to Bowdoin. Hot and no fuel. Well, you guys, without a doubt, UGR did it again. Now, I honestly think for the very first time in the history of Daily Driven Exotics, I actually need to reach out to the underground racing guys and figure something out so we have a UGR build on the channel. Because this car is absolutely insane and it's running flawlessly. And you can just cruise if you want, like I'm currently doing, or you can just put the throttle down and this thing is gone. Probably the fastest car I've ever driven. That and the twin turbo SVJ. Shout out to Simon, the owner, for letting me take his car. They have always allowed me to drive their cars. I'm very grateful for that and to experience these things. This is just on another level, man. This is on another level, bro. What do you think? Do we need one? The noise is, dude, the noise is. Like, you at home can't feel the acceleration. You can hear it and you can see it. It's crazy. Underground racing. I think we've never, I've never done a build with UGR. We need to reach out to them, see what stages they have, see what makes sense. I don't know if 16, 50 to the wheels makes sense. Do they accept competitors' coupons? I don't know. Let's ask them. Let's <laughs> find out. Maybe they do. Now, the real question is can we make that car do what that car does? I think so. That'll it's be. It's not this, it's this. Well, it's also, <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, at the end of the day, it's gonna have all the bells and whistles and sounds. We'll be as fast. No, yeah. You have fourth and fifth in this car, and it's, it's scary fast. Food. We need food. Food vlog. I have low blood sugar. <laughs> DDHQ, you guys, with a very sexy, beautiful, yet humble Huracan, which is gonna get the Super Trofeo Evo kit very, very soon. It is on its way, it's being shipped, so it's gonna come all the way from Belgium, the land of fake Lamborghini Super Trofeo Evo kits and chocolate. I have already scheduled the supercharger to go onto this car from VF Engineering. Within a few weeks, when we have gone off to do Gumball 3000 in the Middle East, which I'm super pumped about, I've never been there before, neither is Dave, we will have this beautiful car sent over to our friends at VF, and by the time we get back, it'll be fully supercharged, tuned, and ready to go, along with their brand new in-house exhaust. So they have their own exhaust now, and I believe it's all titanium. That's what's going on with this car. We got some wheels with AL13 being designed. I want to do something different. That was a hard decision. Either we do something similar. I don't know if I want to do another five-spoke design. We got to do something that's unique for this car. I actually haven't even looked into it. I don't know if the Super Trofeo Evo kit adds any width or offset to the wheels, now that I think about it. We'll have to find that out. New wheels, supercharger, and maybe some sort of a temp livery in the meantime or something, until we have the kit here, landed, stateside, and then we know who's putting it on. It also needs tires, first things first. Oh. You killed the tires, I had to drive them home. The though. tires are toast. Yeah, she needs some new tires. It's trashed. 
But that's the end of this vlog. You guys, what do they need to do, Dave? Smash the subscribe button and thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. See you next time. Are we end it? Am I doing it? Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I don't know if you guys have seen this yesterday. Fluorescent or super, so, DV.